I see a, a very good development. A lot of uh, advantages are coming up uh, within the last two, three years. Today we had the possibility to talk with the uh, colleagues of the Faculty of Civil Engineering, um, the mechanical engineers and so on. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure that uh, next year when we have five years our contract and have to resign it, that there will be a long list of cooperation projects. And what's very important is uh, the mobility of uh, researchers, of lecturers, but also from students between St. Petersburg and Graz University of Technology. I suppose uh, civil engineering has a, we have a traditional cooperation for now 30 years. Uh, in the field of mechanical engineering and computer science, it's uh, not so old, but it becomes very intensive. And I'm sure that we have also in the field of material science, uh, welding and things like this, also uh, big uh, possibilities for cooperation. That's a good idea, uh, but the problem is that uh, in my new job as a director, there's only a small time for, uh, for teaching. But what I'm doing is to, to go to some summer schools to make, uh, let's say, one day, half a day lectures in the field of urban water management. My, my topic is uh, wastewater treatment. Uh, two years ago, when I visited the university, I was also in this building, but it was uh, under construction, and there were the first facilities of research inside, and uh, partly also established as a new supercomputer. Uh, I can congratulate your university, because I suppose a modern facility for research like supercomputing, uh, but also the facilities for the mechanical engineers, welding machines, 3D, uh, D printing and so on, are very important for the development of research and are very important for the education of the students. So it's really impressive what I've seen today.